Welcome back. Today we are going to go with the standard elk hair caddis. Um, nothing too fancy about this, but it flat out fishes. It's something that you should have in multiple colors, multiple sizes. Um, one, of the, one of the, I mean, it, it's been around forever. Still catching fish. There's been many variations on the caddis. Um, this one still does just as well as the rest of them. And, um, We'll get into some of the other ones, some of the more complex uh, caddis here as we go on through these videos, but uh, we're just going to start with the basics on this one. I did this one a while back, just when it was, oh, it was years back, multiple, or just the one camera, and it was, uh, I don't know, not the best video in the world. So we're going to reshoot this. Um, we're going to do this in a size 14 today. We're going to do a tan caddis. Um, I'm going to start out just some gel spun 50. This is just the white. I'm going to bring my thread back to where the barb of the hook starts its ascent. I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to work my way back to the front. There's a little burr right there that I got to get rid of. While Kim's grabbing a drink right there, I'll just cut that stuff out. Now I'm going to take some, you absolutely don't have to do this. You can, uh, hey Cam, how about you take a break, huh? Oh my, they're entertaining if nothing else. Like I was saying, you absolutely absolutely don't have to do this. You don't have to counter wrap this at all. Um, but I'm going to do it on this one just to highlight the fact that you can. I tied elk hair caddis for years. Never counter wrapped them with a rib or anything and they did just fine. Um, but we'll throw this in here. We're going to throw some. This is just small copper wire that I'm going to throw underneath and you see I'll, I run that the length of my the length of my hook mine is just one little section right there where I'm going to use to whip finish for the head and uh, for the deer hair but we're going to take that and then we're going right to the body on this one like I said we're going to do this one in tan this is just going to be some super fine tan if you want to use mix it up I get bored time with just dubbing all the time so I'll throw some in there with um, you know not really a quill body because those are kind of they'll they'll be a little segmented um, and they build a natural taper with the quill more so with a mayfly the the, the um, taper that you'll see on a mayfly as opposed to a caddis but uh, I'll use some, you know, some turkey violets or even some magic quills every once in a while. I got I haven't, I don't think I've tied a video with the magic quills yet. I've been messing around with those. It's a new product. Um, really neat looking uh, flies you can tie out of that. So I'll put a video together here soon with those magic quills and uh, be able to see how those things look. But for this, I'm just running this body. If you look at a caddis, it's just a really, it's basically a stick. It's just one consistent size throughout it. There's no taper like I was saying with the, with the mayfly or anything. I mean, that's your body right there. I mean, it's really simple, really quick to tie. Now I'm gonna take some, this is just a barred ginger. And this is probably going to be closer to an 18 than it is a 14. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, maybe a 16. Regardless, this is what I'm going to tie in. I don't like the real heavy. Um, I don't like the real heavy looking hackle on an elk hair. Um, 
I guess it helps with some flotation a little bit, maybe some profile, whatever it may be. Um, there for a while I was tying these without hackle, but we'll go with the original pattern and we'll put the hackle in there. I'm just going to tie that in place. I'm going to give a half hitch on this. Get this in the cradle, get this out of the way. Now I need to find my hackle pliers. And then we're going to run this right through. And it wound up being a little bit longer than I wanted it to be. That's all right. Just nice even wraps all the way up to the front. Grab your wire, we're going to counter wrap this like I said in the beginning. That worked out perfect. Doesn't happen like that too often. And then there we go. There is our body, our hackle, and our counter wrap really quick. Find some junk scissors here. Trim that off, get that out of the way. Get that out of the way, it's distracting in the back by the looks of it. Got one or two hairs in there that I'm not too crazy about. Uh, that back side, right, I'll let it ride. All right, now we get to the last step on this pattern. And let me find my little hair stacker here. You got some options. Um, I don't use a lot of elk hair. Um, more so what I'll use than anything is this Comparadun. Um, on the bigger ones I may step it up to a Stimmy or um, just some spinning deer hair but that's more so for like the October Caddis or your Squalas. I'll go with the spinning deer hair. Typically your 12s to 18s Comparadun. That's what I'll use. Comparadun or Short Fine whatever it is. Um, but this is just a natural color right here. I'm going to take a little bit out. I don't know how to really gauge what I'm grabbing here. I would say, I don't know, 50 to 100. I guess that would be about right. I'm going to wind up dropping some of this anyhow as I clean it out. And yeah, probably, I don't know. I don't really know how to put into words how much I'm grabbing there. All I can do is really show you up against the, that's a little bit too much. We're going to cut that out by about a third. That's a little too much. That looks better right there. So now we're just going to take this, we're going to throw it in our stacker. Get those tips nice and even. Make sure that everything looks good. Everything is even. And then we're gonna set this right over the top. We're gonna have this wing coming a little bit past the butt of the fly. And then I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna transfer hands and just cut that off square. I'm gonna work this back where I'm not tying right over top of that eye. Then I'm going to spin my thread. And you can see I have just enough thread or just enough deer hair sticking out there. I'm going to go one, two, a third. I'm going to pull that down tight. And you have that nice, just clean head sitting right there. You don't have to worry about trimming this. You don't have to worry about anything. Once again, my fat fingers don't allow me to whip finish on small flies. So I'm going to go right underneath the eye on that one. And I have one strand that just decided to hang out there. Give me you. There we go. There you go. You've got the nice, you know, I got one or two hairs 
right there that I don't like. And this is being completely picky right now because it does not matter to the fish. But there you have it. The nice clean head on that elk hair caddis. Minus this one other hair right there. There we go. That's it. Now, one thing that I do on these every once in a while, because like I was explaining before, I don't like these longer hackles on these caddis. Every once in a while, if I'm fishing them and if I feel that it's riding too high, I'll just take and trim those right flush with the point of the hook and I'll get it to ride a little bit lower. But I mean, really adult caddis, um, it doesn't matter if they're riding too high because a lot of times when you see them, they're bouncing on top of the water. They don't sit and just flow down with the current like a mayfly will before it emerges. These things are just bouncing constantly. So when you're fishing these, um, I, I shake them a ton. I, I twitch them. I, I make them move as much as possible. It seems like you'll generate a little bit more uh, consistent eats that way. And then having that head that way to throw off or to help the fly float a little bit better um, allows you to twitch them. You're still going to have to dress it up on the hackle and everything. There's some more, there's some other caddis patterns out there that float a lot better. But like I said, this one's tried and true. I mean, it's been around forever and uh, still catching fish and you still see it in just about every single shop out there. It's just the basic elk hair caddis. But that should be enough rambling for this one. I'm going to shut this one down. And uh, if you guys want to see any patterns or if you have any other questions, um, leave them with me and I'll address them in a future video. But as always, thanks for watching and we will catch you on the next fly.